Hi everyone, my name is Jay Sisko, and this is the fourth episode of The Art Corner, and I'm here with Aaron, and today we're going to be talking about his art. So, the first question I have is, who is this character, and where are they from? Um, I kind of just created this character on my own. Uh, his name is Damon. He's more of like a, like an alien type of character. Um, I don't really have much backstory for him yet, but it he's just like a circle head is what I call him, really. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I can see that because he doesn't have a neck. <laughs> and so... You said his name was Damon, right? Yes. So, Damon here is looking all swag. <laughs> um, so you said you didn't have much backstory. Are you gonna plan to make any backstory for him, or is it just like a one-time thing? Um, I do plan to make backstory at some point, and I've kind of started on that, but I can't think of anything good. Um, except for just making a couple other characters, but that's really everything i have right now <laughs> but i'm i'm trying to think of stuff like like a like a good story for him really but i just i don't have anything right now so when i was like first starting out with digital art so um explain your process of what you go into when you do uh digital art on photoshop um I don't really have any other programs I use except for Photoshop because I like the um, I like how easy everything is to uh, control and I like the smoothing option and I just know how it works so I just kind of start out with a new layer and just do the normal sketching thing just kind of like normal and I'll just go in try try stuff and that sometimes I use clipping. I've messed up on multiple um, art things <laughs> before using Photoshop, but it's 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 working pretty well. You're using um, a black to shade, and then did you change um, something about the layer, like from a normal layer to a different type of layer? Yes. Um, I only really use black to shade most of the time because I'm not good with like color theory so <laughs> I just use black and I'll change the layer to something like um, maybe like hard or like overlay or something that's what normally will work but I just kind of choose whatever looks good and then I'll put like I'll lower the opacity on the layer so it's not like super strong so it looks like shadow but it also doesn't look like garbage so I don't want it to look too dark I don't know how people have patience for that I've maybe made like two or three paintings and it oh my gosh it takes so much time and you don't know the I, I just don't know the good paints and stuff to use so it just makes it really difficult for me because I'm also very impatient <laughs> <laughs> During the quarantine, I actually got back up and, or I got into painting because of all like, oh, like paint your wall and it's on TikTok. And I was like, oh, wait, I should paint something more. <laughs> like, you know, hopping on the bandwagon. And um, I bought some random paints off Amazon and they do me well. And then um, like every year I always pay my parents something for like either Christmas or like a birthday or something like that. And... Um, it eventually got to the point where it got easier and I brought painting over into like my digital art. Like I would always like blend stuff out as I was painting and it got a lot easier. Yeah. And it looked a lot like um, I did. I, I forgot what it's called. I'll <laughs> no. probably put a note in there when I remember like two minutes later. <laughs> but um, it's like where you have the outline and you color over the outline, then you smudge it to get like you color in the outline layer and you smudge it together. The end result yeah it looks very 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 nice it looks like almost like a sprite for a game like yeah like yeah. if you were to take the background out it would be a 2d sprite for like either a game like um like an rpg horror or something like that yeah i enjoy looking at it because it's not like something that i've had on here before it's not like a like i had a really abstract uh traditional piece and then i had an edit and then yeah. i had mine and it was like okay something simple yeah. let's go yeah. <laughs> like <laughs> nothing that i can like be like okay let's <laughs> let's let's, let's, try. let's go into this and um i really like it because it's something 
different from the norm. Mm -hmm. And um, it's very nice to look at something simplistic and be like, this is really cool. And just, you know, having a little bit of fun with it. Okay, so just to wrap this up, because we're getting really, really, really into time here. Yes. Um, <laughs> Overall piece looks amazing. I love it. It's really simplistic, and I like that about it. It's not complex. It's just something that I can look at and be like, my eyes are happy with this. <laughs> and I like the way you colored it. I like the program you used because it's a program that like digital artists use and um, graphic designers use like almost every day. And it's something that you can take into your future career because like, oh, like I know how to do this. Ha 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 ha. <laughs> and um. And. I really like it and I think that you're gonna get far and I think this character Damon right yes Damon. Damon, I think Damon's gonna be happy with his new story that's <laughs> upcoming you're gonna have to tell me about it yeah um, I will I will cool 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 all right so that wraps up the fourth episode mm -hmm. um, my name